Scott and I are out here at one of my farms in Rogersville and I just got done weed eating probably not even a, a quarter of an acre. There's this little open area in the middle of right in between two ridges. Um, weed eating, I'm about to spray it with some weed killer and I'm gonna make a little hidey hole food plot right here. Uh, I'm gonna plant some sweet and sassy from Osage Trophy Blend. Um, this is uh, this is my first uh, fall that I'll be uh, filming for and with the guys from the hunt company uh, Scott and I go back a few years and uh, getting to know Joe and all the other guys uh, I'm pretty excited uh, to be a part of this team it's cool to be uh, with a group of guys that shares the same passion as I do as much as they do I didn't I didn't think I could meet any other guys that were as obsessed with doing this as I am but I've been proven wrong and uh, I'm, I'm pretty stoked for this fall. It's going to be an awesome season. Well, I'm getting a late start, in my opinion, on planning this. Um, I've been trying to get my food plot planted for the last couple of weeks and just with schedules being crazy with everybody, it's just not worked out. <clears throat> and actually, this isn't the day that I was going to do it this week. We we're going to do it on Sunday, but that fell through. So we scrambled. We're doing it tonight. My buddy Scott Smith has agreed, he agreed to, to come and help me. I have no equipment whatsoever, so I'm kind of relying on other people that do have equipment, and Scott was nice enough to, to offer his tractor and, and disc to tear this ground up. Um, he's, he's doing a really good job. I mean, it's, it's tearing the ground up for sure. Um, we're gonna get it all disced up. I've got my Osage Trophy Blend here on the truck um, that we're gonna put down, and weather forecast says we're getting some good rain this evening. Hopefully it's not too good because we don't want to flood it out, but um, I think we're going to get some moisture tonight, which is really going to help this seed get germinating in there. And I bet in three or four days we'll be able to come back up here and we're going to see some green sprouts coming up. So um, we're going to get after it. As, as soon as he starts getting, getting this ground tore up, we're going to get our seed ready and our fertilizer ready. And we're going to put 200 pounds of fertilizer down, um, which is a little less than what I really wanted to do for the acre that I'm doing. but fertilizer is expensive and I'm a pole boy. Hopefully these deer will like this Osage Trophy blend. I'm sure they will. So. Scott and I came down today to Ozarks Archery. Uh, we're gonna shoot the new BR-33 by Bear Archery. Make sure we're dialed in and have all of our trophy ridge sites ready to go. We'll be hitting it hard. Ozarks Archery in Reed Spring has become quite the home base for the hunt company. Having access to a knowledgeable and friendly staff and all of the equipment or accessories that we could ever need for any hunting season makes it very convenient uh, as a place for us to go and stay ready for anything that we're going to hunt throughout the year. In addition to a full inventory of bow hunting accessories, 
Ozarks Archery also offers a very comfortable indoor range that's full of three-dimensional targets and bag targets as well. So we're able to stay sharp throughout the whole year and no matter what the weather's like outside, we have a place to go uh, to shoot our bows. headed to the Regions Archery 3D National Championship this morning. Um, they've held it in Branson uh, the last couple of years. So just another way of staying sharp in the off season, getting ready for fall. I take my skills as an archer very seriously, and being able to shoot tournament archery through the spring and summer is an excellent way to develop and maintain those skills as we move into the early fall season. Shooting in tournament archery is also a great way to make new friends and meet other people who share the same love for bow hunting as we do. Felt the sun come out a little bit. It was nice and overcast and cool. Hope it doesn't get too hot out here. I often recommend tournament archery to others and regardless of your skill level, these tournaments will have different levels and different classes, and the people are always friendly. They're always very welcoming uh, to new and experienced archers. If you haven't taken the opportunity to shoot in tournaments, I would highly recommend uh, trying this out and going to some of your local tournaments. Regions Archery, had their national championship locally here in Branson, Missouri last summer. And it was a great time for me to get out and compete with other archers um, who were way better than me. And I feel like when I get to do that in tournaments, it really helps me to push myself to become a better and more skilled archer. So I'm shooting here today with Josh and Scuba Steve from Arkansas. and. Uh, no, no, Scuba Steve is from Missouri, and it's <clears throat> definitely not my fault. These guys just can't keep the order correct, and uh, so 
we're going to keep a close eye on them today and make sure they don't get us out of order too much. <clears throat> to 17 and I lead followed by Josh and Joe. Right, but you could shoot a bottom 10 and not get 12. Down to our last target here, and it's been a pretty good day for the weather. And one of the things I like about 3D shooting and any competition archery is just being able to meet people from different places and make new friends. And I think I've got Arkansas Josh over here talked into letting us do a bear hunt down on his farm this year. So hopefully, you'll see us down there later. Sometimes I forget how awesome it is being out on the lake. I mean, I grew up here in the Ozark Mountains and we've got three giant lakes right here in our backyard. And as I've gotten older, I pretty much spend all my time hunting, but um, it's really nice to come down here and live here and be able to have access to Indian Point Marina and these lakes. Um, it's just really nice to come down here and take a break during the off season and enjoy time with our friends and family. Indian Point Marina in Branson, Missouri has become another one of those local businesses that has welcomed us with open arms. I think it's very important to balance the amount of work that we put into hunting throughout the year with recreation as well. And Indian Point offers a wide variety of boats and activities throughout the whole year for uh, any family to enjoy the lake. I spent so much time hunting uh, during the archery season and it's like four months long. So during the summer, it's nice to get out here on the lake and we usually come down to Indian Point and eat at the floating cafe and come down here and rent a boat or <clears throat> rent a paddleboard and just hang out on the lake on the, um, on the weekends during the off season and make sure I'm really getting that quality time with my family. And uh, it's difficult when season comes and we're hunting so much, but uh, it's really nice to get down here and spend time with them, you know, as much as I can.
As much as we love pursuing wild game, our hunting seasons seem to come and go in the blink of an eye. So whether it's shooting tournament archery, being out on the lake, we're always looking for activities that allow us to enjoy the great outdoors all year long.